All right, let's join our heroes inside the kitchen uh, in the Church of Winter. All right, so Tolgar has moved the huge, big, heavy iron grate, pulled it aside, and the whole looms deep below. Um, I think you dropped a torch down there. It seemed to be quite a deep hole and then almost immediately as soon as it hit the ground for a brief second you saw an illumination that showed that there was something other than just the bottom of a hole and probably some kind of opening down there but then when the torch hit the ground tss, it fizzled out as it hit liquid so that's literally where we left off i have a question just one you guys just one <sighs> Two questions. <laughs> Number one, say we do make it down this hole all the way down without dying, which we will do. It sounds like there's just water down there. What if we all drown? Is somebody going to turn into a shark again? <laughs> I, just, I just go like this. One well, of you had the ability to turn into a shark. I thought you did. Me? Well, uh, not so much a shark as I can uh, alter my physical being to adapt to certain situations. One of them being uh, an aquatic one. I can't swim. So you can. Well, no, it, I don't turn into a shark. Just uh, <laughs> I'm able to adapt. It's so <laughs> simple than that. How about this? Because, well... I could see in the dark. You tie the rope around me, lower me down. And then if I'm going to drown, I'll say, hey, I'm drowning, and you let me up. I like I that the plan. Splendid idea, yes. Okay. Second question. What if he's just planting all these monsters to slow us down so we can't catch him? He might very well be doing that. Well, uh, but uh, we did find uh, something uh, seemingly of value the last time he planted a monster, so maybe there's another piece of the proverbial puzzle down there. Uh, I seem to recall you throwing that thing on my chest. Yes, that, that, that is the thing in question. What about it? Well, we haven't really discerned anything uh, special about it, just that it doesn't fit, right? Well, someone would, wouldn't use some sort of a warding spell like that if it weren't valuable in some way? Seems like a waste of perfectly good magic. Who would do such a thing? I have a third question. Do we all have to go down there? Y yes. Probably. Pro probably. I mean, because I could just take your word for what's down there. I don't need to see for myself. But where's your sense of adventure? Don't you want to see what's down there? What what things we could possibly uncover? I can smell what's down there. I'm fine. We might need your whip for when one of us drowns. Uh, also, um, I seem to recall missing out on the last time we fought that double thing. Probably the more the merrier. I see nothing merry about what's down there. I smell nothing merry about what's down there. <laughs> Look, we, we will um, we will cleanse ourselves when we return, appropriately enough. If it's the if it's the dirt and the refuse that, well, we've been in worse situations after all. <laughs> if it's the dirt and refuse, oh, the... hey, don't, don't you want to see me die being the first to go down? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna start taking out my rope. There you go. <laughs> that okay. was almost a um, thing last time. I've had my fill. I'm good. <laughs> Just, just know that um, there is one condition to this offer of me going first. That at the what? end of this, you hoist me back up. I don't have to climb a, a centimeter. Because, uh, you know, I really can't. So at the end, you... Are your arms broken? I'm not exactly the most athletic of people. Um, and I can't do what he does and fly. Yes, I'll drag you back up. It's fine. All right. I thought I taught you more than that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna check the stove down here. Okay. If there's anywhere we could tie a rope off to make sure, like, 
Uh, I mean, it is a huge, big iron lump of metal. Um, quite yeah. modern by today's standards. Um, and very, very heavy. Uh, probably it would support the weight of an individual, for sure. Mm. Mm, at least average individuals. Yeah. I would, uh, I'd be kind of looping my rope probably around it to get a good not on the girth of it so that it doesn't like slip off of it all right so like one of the yes to one of the legs so uh not a problem all right all right i'm gonna wrap it around Enlin, tie it maybe tie it to sash's rope because we probably need double rope okay so you're gonna tie your rope to the end of satchmo's rope and then tie your rope to Emlyn. So you have probably about 90 foot of rope then. Okay. Good that, enough. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you take into account the, the knot, the loop around the waist and the distance yeah, from yeah. the stove to the hole, that's about what you've got. It's about 90 feet. All right. Um, ready, Emlyn? Give me a survival a skill torch? check, Tolgar. Oh, Okay. Just surviving over here. <laughs> Please roll well. Alright, okay. Okay. So right. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a torch, light it up, and um, get lowered. Okay. Alright, All right. who's gonna so, help me hold the rope probably if you I'll can. help and hold the rope. Okay, Who well, will help me hold the rope? <laughs> I'll supervise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, Tolgar holding the rope and Emlyn's weak form is not going to be a big problem, and especially if you've got um, if you've got Kyla backing up Tolgar. So, okay, um, you begin to low, lower and lower Emlyn into the dark, stinky hole. All right. Um, so Lilith was not far wrong. There is definitely a smell of pungent refuse coming from the shaft um, as you begin to get lowered I down. Hate it when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Down and down and down you go. Please into speak the pit. every ten seconds, Emlyn. Right, I, I'm trying to breathe. Okay. Um, I will before I move you to the map. I will preface by letting everybody know that this is a you've guessed it, a dynamic lighting map so if all the viewers will please turn off the stream um and only have chat open Hammer, thanks for the host button so that you cannot see my screen basically no cheating none whatsoever all right um so we're gonna go ahead and uh switch to that here in just a second so you've gone down about 50 or so feet um it is pitch black down here there is little light source other than the speck of light 50 feet above you um you guys are still slowly feeding out the rope and the weight on the end of it lets you know that clearly you have not yet hit the bottom okay after about another 10 feet however about 60 feet down you are aware that the o that the area around you is starting to open up. Um, with your vision, you can see in dim light that leads you to believe that you are in some underground cavern, but yet some kind of man-made um, structure. Okay, I am going to move Shagit to this map. And uh, for chat's purposes... Um, let's go ahead and move him to where he should be. And we'll zoom Ooh, in nicely. Alright, and right now you can't see anything, but uh, I'm about to fix that. I hope that I've got everything um, lined up for you properly. And, uh, oh, oh. Hold on. I don't need that boulder. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Um, so this is pretty much what you can see. Um, now, as I said, they're using dynamic lighting, which means if you're not familiar with what that is, um, 
it means that they don't see everything you see. They only see what their character sees. So that, literally right there, is what Emlyn sees. Um, okay, Emlyn, um, you've hit the ground. Oh, um, fuck. <laughs> basically, as you land on the ground, you feel your feet sink into sludge, probably at least a good foot. Um, as you're fully aware of all the pungent stuff. Um, at this point, of course, as you spin around, you're aware of something. Um, something big, something hideous, something oh insectoid gosh. and green. And it's clattering towards you going... Yeah, gonna I'm, gonna, I'm gonna immediately say up, up, up. And I'm gonna All cast right. a spell as I'm going <laughs> up. Uh, well, it's 90 foot up that shaft. So you're gonna have to like lean back and holler as loud as you can for them to be able to hear well, you. It's a, it's a panic. Um... Hold on, I gotta, I gotta find the freaking spell because I have it. Where are you? Come on, man! I'm panicking now for real. <laughs> Remember your training. Wax on, wax off. Did you Sorry. guys not take training classes for this? No, they. He, he's in the panic. Oh, apparently, Emily forgot what spell he's gonna cast. No, um, yeah, that's true. So. <laughs> Um, all right, no, so yeah. I, I can't find it in my list, but I know I have it. What the hell? What is it? What spell is it? I had I had Dimension Door. Like, I know I had Dimension Door. I was looking at the wrong... Mm. I have it. Is it too late still? Uh, it'll pop it up. <laughs> okay, um... So no, I'm not, I'm gonna let you cast it. Your character knows <laughs> that he has it, even though you're. Fail I know fishing. I have it. It was um, the So in any slide. case, yeah. Um, so where do you want to be teleported to? Back to the top. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Um, well, in that case, then I'm gonna put you here. So um, I just feel the rope go limp. Um, yeah, literally, <laughs> that's exactly what happens. You uh, will feel the rope just go suddenly limp. Um. Hmm. Monsters got him. <laughs> what? Uh, hey, and then I get to see it. suddenly, I within a split second after that, <laughs> he appears at the top um, with the kind of rope still wrapped around his waist um, and looking somewhat um, disheveled and um, what the slightly what? panicked. MC, thanks for the that, resell, then buddy. Why Much love. Ever need to. Pull you back up. Take your pants off. Hit the high. I'm not like Thelonious. I'm a warlock. I have a limited amount of magical ability, and if I expend it all, I need to rest. You're right, right. What did you see? It was large, green, and a tree spewing <laughs> a appendages. Uh, it's like a, it's like a giant. It's like a giant slug with a lot of arms reaching out for me. It was huge. And How big? A slimy pickle. Well, like as big, big as me? No, That's big, a throwback. This room. This room. Big this room. Like this room. Well, then that can't be what we're looking for. There's no way it could get through that hole. <laughs> I seem like completely <laughs> not, con not concerned that there's a giant creature down there. <laughs> just, just that obviously uh, isn't the thing we're looking for. Yep. But but it's big and it's 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 right down there. Like it was lying in wait. It's appendages, appendages. Oh. I I didn't I I don't I don't. <laughs> Found it out. You can do it. Appendages. Yeah, very good. Too many syllables for Tolkien. Poke there. out an eyeball. I, I didn't I, I I didn't I didn't study it. I, I as you can see I panicked a little bit. Um. That was why we sent you down there to study to look. Yeah, but I know. I, I was going to just make sure the immediate area was clear, and then you could all come down after me. But it would be not, it would have killed me before you made it. Well, you can don't we, know that. <laughs> can we just throw some magic down there? Kill it? Yeah, just hurl a fireball or something down there. It's hey. not a bad idea. Hey. Unfortunately, I don't know what I would be. Oh, when you got down there, um, did it? Uh, was it a large room? Was it a the, small room? The, the, it? It, it was. It was not naturally made. It was. It was like a catacombs or something. 
no, no, where the refuse was, well, it was there, and then there was a puddle of water to the south of me, but surrounding it was like a man-made tunnel, like something was built long ago. And you guys can all notice that he is basically up to his mid-ankles in crap. Like his shoes are oh. covered in sludge. So, um. so the, good, the good news is, <laughs> Lilith, and it if you want to terrible. avoid the crap, once you get to the very bottom, you could just definitely jump out of it because it's only in a particular area down straight. <sighs> um, Doesn't solve the problem of the thing at the bottom that wants and to And I'm muted. <laughs> That's what I was talking about before I realized I was muted. <laughs> right. Um, yes, we would have to find a way to um, engage it all at once. I, I will say this, uh, Thelonious, you will have a field day down there. Ooh. It's, it Why? seems to be right up your alley. Well, not the slug thing, but the... the... They're like an elder folks <sighs> home down there. No, he's what? making... I know what he's trying to say. I get it. Being, like, a bingo so... hall. What, what do you think I'm trying to say? What are you What are you trying to say, exactly? Well, what is Lilla trying to say? She's making an old joke. So... Oh. It's, it's, I it's just ageism. thought of it. I don't think it's that old. <laughs> it's ageism, and I don't like it. No, no, no. ageism. Uh, yeah. Feel, no, I, I was actually being as sincere as I've ever been. Um, oh. Considering I was why. almost killed, I'm in no laughing mood. That's a fair point. What well, yeah, is that? Um, items of, of intrigue. It, it's it's a place that has the potential for items of intrigue. It's that yeah. interesting that's a place. That's not what it sounds like to me. <laughs> it, well, I mean, I saw the monster, but, you know, it was... There was definitely more to uncover down there. We've Actually, taken- I have a bigger question. We're in, like, a kitchen, right? You are, yes. Why the hell are they throwing shit down a hole in the kitchen? It's like food shit. I don't think they actually... Or do they? I mean, is it? <laughs> no, is no. It what he actually said was, when when they mop the floor to keep it sanitary, they mop it down this hole. And yes, if there's any leftover food and stuff. Okay, so it it's it's rubbish. It's not actual shit. Yes. Okay, that was not clarified. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, although after it is decom, if you take all kinds of fresh vegetables, fruit, that sort of stuff, chuck in some throw up and some ale and things, after a period of time, that pile of compost is kind of akin to shit, basically. <laughs> Did you see any other way to enter the area other than being lowered by rope? Well, so I do know that it came from the west down a tunnel skittering towards yes. me okay. to the south was a dead end it looked like and to the east it was in was another tunnel like it, it went basically the length of the church so there could possibly be another way to enter the area possibly well maybe if we dig up all the graves we'll find another secret entrance that way uh, you know to the east <laughs> I'm gonna just look past Thelonious to the door, like maybe I was overheard, <laughs> and then I'm just gonna shrug and be like, I don't know. I mean, maybe there's a tunnel entrance to the west outside of town, mm. you know, like in a cave or something that connects to it. Yeah. Uh, I, right. I, 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 we still have to get down there and inspect it all, yeah. I, I, do we? I don't think anything came up this hole and got into the church this way. Well, where, how else would it get in? Because the brother was, and they lock all the doors. Okay, well, that creature sounds too big to get through that hole, right? So Maybe perhaps it's like there's an one octopus creature. and can form itself to small spaces. That's very good knowledge you have there, Tolga. I'm surprised. I was on a ship oh, and I saw wildlife in the water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A wonderful <laughs> anecdote. <laughs> no. Look, all I, all I know is that we have a deal with this church to get health potions, right? And booze. And information on the guy we're trying to seek out. So, 
regardless of what we actually do down there, they need to be convinced that we've purged this place of evil. Even if we have or haven't. Right. Um, that being said, whatever's in the way seemed to be attracted to the person who fell down the chute. Can we I happen an appendage? Maybe it's a pet. <laughs> I happen to know, and I'm gonna kind of budge the door open so that, like, <laughs> Brother Allard is just, like, lying there. I'm just like, I happen to know where we could get a stand-in. So, so You're we, not serious. We <laughs> drop the body of the brother down there and then follow suit when it's feasting on its corpse. Well, if we listen in, we might be able to hear it, and then we could maybe drop some fire down there. I don't know. You, you really think the church is going to think that's all right? No. No, but they didn't specify how we do this. Uh, what, what do we have in here? And I'm going to look around the kitchen for any kind of food that we could drop down. I mean, we could say that the thing down there came up and took us all. You know? <laughs> you know. Maybe. Yeah, but then we have to put sludge everywhere up here, and that's just extra work. Well, what about that sleeping- I say we kill the beast. <laughs> You go get him. No, what about that punk idiot that's always sleeping in the church? We get him, tell him we're going to get him booze or food, push him in the hole, and then follow. I think they'd be better with us pushing Allard down the hole. But, Al- but they want to bury Allard. Maybe they don't give a shit about the drunk idiot on the be- on the pew. Are you serious? Do you even listen to yourself? Yes, I, I quite yeah. love my voice. I don't think there- they would like either one of those choices. Is there a bunch of food on the table? I don't have to know here? about the other one. Is this all Ooh. food on the table here? We oh, wake yeah. them up. It is all ingredients, basically. It's not like prepared food, but it's big bowls of grain and wheat. Um... You know, there are vegetables of various different sizes and shapes, different fruits, mushrooms, you name it. I'm going to grab some of the uh, fruits and vegetables and just walk them over to the hole, uh, probably in like a bowl, and just like hold them over and it's just like, maybe this will work, and drop it in. Vegetarian monster, good idea. Or again, maybe it's a pet. It didn't exactly attack you. It... Why don't you go try to talk to it? Also a good idea. I think you need to see this to believe that it's not there for petting. Could you well, it obviously shot. won't do something so delicate as poking out an eye and sucking out a brain. If it's Don't that big. So. By its Would you face? all just be quiet for a second? And I'm going to try and listen down the <laughs> hole. Okay. See if anything is, like, moving down there because there's food now. <laughs> all right. Um. So you... Wait, wait. <laughs> Not a sound. Ah. Look, it wants blood. How do you know that? Maybe it is oh, eating. Maybe it's, it's just a quiet eater. Because it spoke to me and said, blood, blood. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> really? with, its, with its mouth full of arms. You didn't say that the first time. That's Does because really? he's a terrible liar. True. <laughs> Are you lying? Wait, wait, truth that I lied. Are you lying? <laughs> <laughs> well, if if there anyone from the church in around right now? No. So then let's just why don't we just take the body and throw it down there? It's just the body. Well they want yeah, to just... bury that body. I was saying we take a body that they might not notice missing. You know. Well, I mean, did they say that Yes, what if we made an, an executive de- decision? To help. For the greater good, obviously. Is there prepared food in front of me here? <laughs> <laughs> um, some. <laughs> How's yes, it taste? it's called Emlyn. <laughs> Throw them down. I, I just, my only fear with throwing the dead brother is that they're going to ask questions we're going to say and they're going to renege on their offer because we, desa, we defiled their spiritual brother or whatever. That's, yes, that's not a good idea. But murdering a uh, hobo is fine. Buy a pig. Yes. Yes. If we, if we go buy a pig or something, we could just as well drop one of those down there. Do you think it'll live when it hits the bottom? I don't. Ah. <laughs> well, we'll lower the other rope. Matters. Yeah, 
we just tie it up and lower it. Whatever yes. it takes. It'll yes. definitely be loud. You guys get some pigs. I'm going to rest here because I can recoup my spell that I wasted surviving. But yes, go buy some pigs. Even so, we dropped down something. It, it'll take us a while to get down there all together as a group. We can't really surprise it. So we drop it down right before, as we drop down with it all together. This rope isn't going to hold all of us at once. Well, we get the church to get others, because we know they have more rope, right? They do. I guess I was going more along the thought we put the bait there, we spring a trap, possibly scare it away, and then go down. Scare it away. The problem is we can't see down there to know if it works. Right, uh, which is I, why we send the guy who can see back down, and then when he poofs back up here, it didn't work. I I see what you're saying, Kyla. <laughs> I'm okay with that with that plan. <laughs> we we tie a pig to the rope, a rope. We lower it down there, release it from the rope, so it runs free. The thing chases it, and then we go down. That works too. I just like to blow things up. <laughs> If it follows the pig. Well, the pig will run, right? Because it'll be untied. What if it gets stuck in the slush? We swing it a little bit. And then stab the rope. <laughs> it's gonna die so fast. Emlyn, could, could you tell if it had uh, <laughs> eyes or... Um, yes. It did. Oh, it, had okay. big, it had big red eyes. So you think that it could be uh, sight driven not so much off of smell or the senses. I mean, I knew you had a thing for goats, but I didn't take you for a swine swinger. You're very funny. I say, get the pigs. Get a few pigs. Okay. It's a festival. I could uh, always um, make someone um, extremely hard to see after lowering down there, just a thought. To use as a sort of a distraction, make a noise. I'd be interested in that. We'll do it for all of us. While so we, we take down. all of us to lower you down there. <laughs> he could probably uh, repel his way down on his own. Yeah, if he could climb down. <laughs> I just picture the stove just busting out. And going <laughs> down. Well, the pigs is the best, safest bet to not, you know. Oh, okay, but what? I mean, it was a shot. He was going to go buy the pig. <laughs> <sighs> you just see me, like, with crap on my feet, kind of lay up on whatever this is. This is a just... Uh, so that was a pre- uh, just one of their preparation <laughs> tables. That's fine. Nose goes. Uh, <laughs> I'm, go- I'm already going. I'm already gone. <laughs> I'm just- <laughs> I still think we should just throw this guy down. <laughs> we want those we want their help remember uh, I'm just gonna go <laughs> I'm going to buy a pig alrighty what? okay what? Romeo's Revenge we just subscribe <laughs> thank you my friend 16 months in a yeah. row for you much love take your pants off hit the hype alright okay so you're going to buy a pig Yes. You're going to head back to town, buy a pig, and come back. Are you guys just going to wait for him to get back? We'll probably try to find more rope while we're waiting, I think. And get it tied well, to things. They went and bought this rope for you guys, if you remember. Yeah. yeah, right. yeah. So we'll, we'll tie it to places around this, not just all in one stove, right? That is sturdy, can hold weight. Like, are while, there... while Kyla's gone. So what's the game plan? To like have numerous strands of rope down the hole? Yeah. Yeah. I, um. Okay. I mean, the hole is as big as the hole is, as you can see it on the map. So there's no room for more than one person in the tunnel at one time. Of course, that doesn't mean you can't be like, you know, stacked. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Bearing in mind, whoever's at the bottom is kind of screwed if he wants to come up. <laughs> no. See, um, that's where the pig goes first. <laughs> And then Big we fight. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so, for argument's sake, you want just Kyla to get more rope while she's in town? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. 
Um, in that case, then, yes. So, Kyla, you head back to town. Um, you know, the stores are still open, so you can go to the general stores and pick up. How many How many uh, feet of rope do you want? How many coals of 50? Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get, like, uh, because it takes two to get to the... It takes two, so... Ah, shoot. Eight more. Uh, eight yeah, more. yeah. Eight, eight more. <laughs> eight? Holy crap. Okay, so you're going to be just, I'm coming back with rope. coils and coils of rope <laughs> hanging off your arms, yeah, round your yeah, neck, yeah, yeah. round your waist. You're going to look like a, yeah, yeah. a rope mummy. The pig's carrying something. It's a festival. People Tie do all kinds of weird things. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and pick up a pig as well. All right, so yeah. uh, cut of a pig, cool five gold. Rope. Um, yeah, knock off like six gold and you'll be good. Okay. okay. That's fine. Um, all right, well, it, it, he's gone. Oh, she's gone at least a good hour and a half to two hours. Um, you know, <laughs> acquiring all this stuff, rounding, finding someone to sell a pig, getting it all done, and then getting back here. Um, but eventually, you do arrive um, back in the establishment, and wouldn't you know it? <laughs> There's your pig. Okay. I got this one because I thought it was stupid looking. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we tie one rope around the pig, lower it down first, but not all the way. And then I'll go down, I guess, next with Tolgar right after me. And then you guys follow as you see fit. Then when we get towards the bottom, if the pig is attacks, we just... Go quickly. <sighs> Pig, me, Tolgar, you guys, like a ladder. You know how those work, right, Tolgar? Okay. What are you gonna? Okay. So here's the thing. Um, other than the stove, I mean, these tables are definitely not heavy enough to support your weight. Of another whole person. Uh, I mean, they're just simple tables. If you tie rope around the table leg and start going down the hole, as soon as your weight is on that rope, that table is coming straight to the entrance of the hole. Um, so, really, only the stove is probably heavy so enough. So, we're going to get the brothers and that drunk idiot we wanted to kill to hold us. So, you want to call all the priests another- in here? And have the priests hold the ropes? I have, <laughs> a, I have an idea. It's uh, a little different. I'm going to go to the bedroom with, the like, I guess three of the ropes. Okay. And uh, I'm going to take one of the beds. Not that one because this one's gross, but uh, probably this one. Okay. And just drag it up to the doorway and turn it sideways. Okay. So that it can't fit through the doorway. All right. And then wrap the wrap the ropes over it and under it so that it's like the bed would have to go through the doorway in order to unsecure and since I have so much extra rope that's fine this won't support support Tolgar but it'll probably carry us okay (laughs) and uh, bring the leads out into here alright so you're gonna lose about 25 about 30 foot off of each rope. Yeah. Or off of each strand, anyway. Um, right. So, if you've got 100... If you're tying two lots of 100 foot together, still leaves you about 70 feet, um, and it was about a 60 foot down. So, that would work. Well, that good I- Nicely done, Tyler. <laughs> yeah. I mean, between the rope basically going underneath these tables... Um, through the door, it's got the wall here to kind of pull against as well. Um, if the bed is sturdy enough to take all of your weight, seems like a solid plan. Test it. <laughs> yeah, Tolgar, Tolgar, pull on this as hard as you can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the rope will probably give before that bed does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Um, so, explain to me once more so I have it crystal clear what your game plan is before we execute this. All right, we're going to tie the, a rope around the pig. 
Okay, I and lower it into down. the hole. <laughs> all the way to the bottom by itself. Not all the way to the bottom, no. Like, halfway down. Because we're all going to sta- like stack ourselves. Okay. So we can see it happening, right? We don't want the pig to get down there and have too much time pass before the thing eats it and is ready for us. So you guys are going to be climbing down the ropes then, not being lowered down after a while, because eventually there's not going to be any, enough yeah, yeah. people to hold to lower you down, right? Yeah, yeah. That's my thinking. So if we just climb down and have the pig tied to Tolgar, <laughs> <laughs> hanging down a little bit of the ways, and then when he gets to a certain height, just cuts it. Yeah, let's do that. So, so pig, Tolgar, myself, everyone else. Yeah. So you're gonna tie the pig to Tolgar. He's gonna go down first. I'm gonna go down. <laughs> All right, after now this, this is a full-grown pig. I mean, that's a heavy animal. It's Tolgar. Fine. It is Tolgar. <laughs> hey, but it's still probably a 400 pounds hanging off of his waist. Yeah, I was about to ask that. Did you really Wait, get a full-grown pig? Pounds. Yes. It's that's the only one that was up for sale. <laughs> oh I want to see it. Those Sorry. Those pigs get pretty big. Can it even fit down there? Is I mean, it a, a typical carnival pig. Yeah, one of I the mean, fattest fed ones. <laughs> you know, I mean, an average pig. I mean, can, you know, um, if okay, it's a so, full-grown pig, it could get. I mean, it probably isn't quite four hundred pounds, but it's it's probably every bit of three hundred. Oh my goodness. Or close so, to. So, Thelonious, <laughs> levitate the pig. So when Togar goes down, she'll kick it. He'll kick it. Can he levitate that much weight? Why why would I levitate something we're just going to use as bait? Why don't we just throw it down the hole? Because we need to have enough time to make it to the bottom so it eats the pig. (laughs) What? uh, what What if we used your friends to help lower the pig? And we just climb down the rope. Fine. Yes. Right? Doesn't that make more sense? Sure. All, all the way around? You're smarter than me, so yeah. I just I don't <laughs> want to I don't want to waste my my, my talents on a on a pig. <laughs> I didn't want to waste the gold. <laughs> I didn't want to use a pig in the first place, but here we are. <laughs> okay. So wait, are we using the pig? Can I keep him? No, it makes me feel better. Oh, about myself. No. We are using the pig, and Togar will go down first. Me second. When we get near the bottom, Togar will sever the the rope that the pig is on, so it'll hit the ground, squeal, and start running, and then we will lower down after it when we see the thing run by. Yes. All right. How do okay. I sever a rope with one hand. So, you tie a rope around Togar's waist. Um. You attach the pig to the other end of it. How long is the rope that's going to be hanging from Tolgar? No, we're going to get the other priests to lower the pig itself separately. Okay, so you're not tying the pig to Tolgar now. Because we're yeah. not... Yes, that's that's what I said. And then Tolgar okay. will go down after, and then me, and then... There we go. Yeah, I'm going to climb the rope down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll just yell up, drop the pig. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, um, fair enough. So, the priests are going to lower the pig, and the pig is going all the way to the bottom? It's going part, well, most of the way to the bottom until we are on top of it. Like, we are right above it. Okay, so... <sighs> the priests have the rope that has the pig. <laughs> I understand, but how do they know... The how, are they gonna, how are they going to know when they've... Gotten close to the bottom, but not to the I'll bottom of a now. ninety foot tell them to stop. of a huge hole that they can't see the bottom of, or see the. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll say it's like sixty feet down to stop at forty feet. You know? Okay. Yeah. Do you just want them to guesstimate about forty feet and stop? Yeah, and then you're gonna way too complicated to go feet? down a freaking hole. Um, I thought how we, we how about we just be communicate? Alive. How about we just communicate? And we tell them higher or lower, depending on what we need, because it's really not that far a distance. So you're going directly behind the pig then, Tolgar, right? So you can see the pig? I am. Yes. Okay, you can have any kind of light source, because once you're down this hole, you're not going to be able to see squat. 
I hope somebody has a light source. Can I attach a light source to me? The only person that can see in the dark down here is going to be Emlyn and um, Thelonious if he utilizes his magics. Do you want a light source to be bestowed upon you? What? I would love what? that. Ah, yes. Mm. All right. Let me just conjure here. Mm. And I have thanks for the resub. Much love. Appreciate it. 17 months of support. Take your pants off and hit that height. Appreciate Let's it. cast it as right before I go down. Not ah, uh, yes. I'll, I'll yes. hold off. I'll I'll get myself ready. I'm, I'm ready okay. when you are told. God, just say the word. And you shall have your light source. Which word? Any word you, you choose. Light. Oh, God. Good. Good word. Yes. When you say light, you shall have it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we're good. <laughs> we're going down the hole now, right? <laughs> okay. Um, but you are all climbing yourselves down the rope. Yeah. Okay. So. I'll go last. <laughs> that way there's more to squish, more squishy soft people to land on if you fall. Right. Uh, well... It's not that hard to climb down the rope um, because the hole is small enough that you can kind of push your back against one side and use your feet against the other. Um, so I'm not going to waste any time making you guys risk falling to your deaths with climb rows because I know it would happen and we would just never move on from here. Um, so. <laughs> we, exhausted, we exhausted you with this confusing ass plan. Yes, that's okay. what you say. So you lower it. Well, no, but that the hole, as plan. you can see, the hole is actually small enough to do that. So it's a lot easier to climb yeah. down it than you would have, you know, than you realize. Um, okay, so you, the pig is lowered down. I follow The suit. monks stop at what they think is 40 feet. Um, Tolgar, you're climbing down. So what are you... You don't have a light source at the moment. Thelonious casts light. Uh, hey, it's and I cast light on her axe. Okay. His axe, excuse me. All right, His so axe. you have a glowing axe. Okay. Um, I climb down. So you climb down to where the pig is. <laughs> I follow. All right, so Emlyn's I, next in queue. I, I follow the follower. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look at Lilith and say, lady first. Oh, oh no, that's quite all right. You go on ahead. Oh, Age just, before beauty. Just <laughs> thank you. Just trying to be a uh, chivalrous. And I'll start climbing down. Okay. All right, so you're <laughs> all in the tunnel. And at which point, very faintly, you hear, what are all these ropes doing here? Look how dangerous this is. Somebody could trip over them. Snip, 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 snip. Ah, no, um, but... <laughs> It would be fun. Oh, it really would. That would be bad. Um, <laughs> Those are assholes. Kill them all. <laughs> no. um, okay. So once you're all funneled down the tunnel um, with a pig 20 feet from the bottom, you come to a grinding halt. You're now all in the tunnel going... All right. So I can hear. What do I see? Um, you don't see anything because your pig is only lowered down 40 feet and you're still in the tunnel. Oh, I lower down. I go down more. Uh, you can't yeah. get past the pig. We 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 oh. shout. Lower the pig more. Okay, there a we go. More. All right. <laughs> All That's right. So boy. they begin to lower the pig down further, further, and further. Um, and you're scurrying down below the pig. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's uh let's go to this place then. <laughs> I'm just wondering what's going through these poor monks' minds. You guys minds are killing me. <laughs> <laughs> the most elaborate hole pl- delving plan ever. Uh, let me see. Where is a good. Uh, where do I have it here? Um, yeah. <laughs> I know it's here. I put it here earlier. But apparently, I've lost it. A second. Well, what are the odds? It like literally has disappeared. Ah, there we go. All right, yeah. Um. Okay, so the pig is at the bottom. Um, it still has the rope tied around it, so it can't go very far. Um, 
Uh, and immediately it starts <laughs> and snuffling in the trash. Uh, is everybody everybody in place? Um, I see the monster. <laughs> yes, we are. Cut, tell him to cut the rope. Or let go of the rope. Let go of the rope. Uh, yeah, yeah, let go uh, of the rope, please. Okay, um, so yeah, they let go of the pig rope. Um, and the pig doesn't actually go anywhere. It continues to stay right here um, and feast on the crap. And what is the monster doing? Um, right now, it appears to be feasting on the edge of the crap right here as well. And you are hovering in a corridor below a huge hole with rope tied around yourself. Pig, move closer. Nothing's happening yet. They're both just eating trash separately. Well, that's good. Let's lower down then, and we'll lower too. If it's just a crap monster, we can avoid it. Okay, um, the thing starts to get closer. As it's soon as moving. the pig sees it, um, the pig... <laughs> takes off and goes bolting in this direction. Okay. Was the monster going towards the pig or um once the pig runs off, um the thing pretty much stops right here and it's just sitting like looking at you hovered in the hole going <laughs> The pig ran away. It's just looking Looking right at me. Well, then get down there so we can fight it. All oh, right. Well, I'm glad to hear the plan worked. <laughs> it's right here, <laughs> Emlyn. Glad the plan worked. It's looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> Ugly little spud, isn't he? <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I can hear you, Emlyn. I'm gonna drop down now and go and go to the. All right. Oh, fun. Okay, so you drop down. You go. In the crap. And then you walk south. Okay, um, Tolgar, suddenly you're aware something thick, nasty, and gloopy suddenly begins to emerge up around your legs from in the crap. Um, ah. It appears to be a huge, big, black, spongy, strange substance. Um, and... I'm... St- I'm stuck. The thing. Uh, um, and it burns. You take a point of acid damage. What the hell is up with this church's basement? It burns. Okay. Um, what do you want to do, Tolgar? What are you doing? I'm trying to jump all the way at the sludge. I attempt to get out of the sludge. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this is the thing. It barely fits in here. It is a massive, big, blobby, gloop, nasty thing. Can I can see it, right? Um, if you're lowered down far enough to the hole, then I'll put you right here if you're next in line. Yeah, I'd be Alright, okay. Um, so until Emlyn touches the ground and gets out of the way, obviously no one else can come down, but... Um, so, Emlyn, right now, you're like, you know. Um, yeah. Well, here's the thing, though. Um, yeah, I mean, you once you get to the bottom, you can lower yourselves down, but you're kind of like hanging loose on the end of the rope until you drop to the floor once you're through the hole. Right. Okay. So, what do you want to do? What is Emlyn going to do? What's his oh, reaction? Well, I mean, so Togar is trying to jump out, out of the gloopiness, right? And the monster is not doing anything? Like, it's, um, just it's looking... coming in y'all's direction, but slowly. Uh... Alright, uh, Tolgar, so where are you going to jump? Combat six second I'm round, so what are you going to do? Jump here. Alright, okay. Um, at this point in time, uh, Emlyn and Tolgar, you need to give me an initiative. Um, roll, and let's see where you guys are going to be on the initiative. Hey, it's not too bad. It's pretty good. I don't know why. 
Tolgar gets two initiatives. Because he's because he does barbarian oh, wow. special. Because okay, okay. he's Tolgar. Because he's Tolgar, of course. Right? Of course. All right. Okay. So, um, Tolgar on a twenty-one. Emlyn on a fifteen. Uh, for chat, let me roll to see where these things go. So I'm going to do the big green splitty thing first. <laughs> the thing that looks like an arcade villain. Uh, <laughs> All right, and now I'm going to oh, go for the big. You know, if Lula thing. can't be on the back of a manacor, being on the back of one of those things would be metal AF too. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, Tolgar, you're going to leap forward to this spot here. Okay. Um, you doing anything else? Or just getting out of the hut? Uh, if I can get out, do, do I have room to attack this thing? Uh, which thing? You want to, so you want to like, one. yeah, because bearing in mind if this, I can get out. <laughs> this is a hole. It's directly open here. So, yeah, you can get to within range of it uh, and attack it if you wish. Yes, I will attack it. Um, I'd probably do... I think I'd like to do a uh, reckless attack on my first attack because I'm in shock. All right. And I think I'll swap As the I noise over to this. Rage. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna choose to enrage. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, um, and reckless attack. Go ahead. Put a reckless attack here, just so you see it. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, when you make your first attack on your turn, you can decide to attack recklessly. Doing so gives you advantage on your melee attack. Um, but attack rolls against you have advantage as well. All right, Tolgar. All right, 21. Okay, yeah, you swing your glowing axe of light uh, and smash into this large insectoid. Um, it kind of grazes down the side of its bony head as you realize that it's quite solid underneath there. Um, and you have done nine points of damage. Emlyn! I am descending and immediately going north. Oh, this that's way. That's a little loud. Okay. And I'm going to blast it with my Eldritch Blast a couple times. Okie dokie. That's twice. All right. 19 and 15 to hit. Okay, let's see. And they both do hit it. Combined total of 28 as your horrible nice. beams of black, crackling, nasty energy um, rip through this thing. And I'm going to shout out, get down, don't go south. All right. Um, so you did, let's see, 28. Okay. Um... So, with that being said, who was next in line? Uh, Kylo, right? Mm. Kylo. Kylo Ren. All right. Um, so, this turn, you be you lower Kylo yourself Ren. down? Uh, yeah, I'm basically getting down as fast as I can. Okay. Um, and that will be your action this turn, is getting into the bottom. I don't see anything at all. Um, and <laughs> probably because there is absolutely no visible... Oh, actually, Tolgar. You know what? Let me change your light source. To be visible by everybody. Yay! There you go. My my glowing X. And now Kyla should monsters with it. be yeah, able to see what is in front of Tolgar. Yep. All right. So uh, coming down, seeing that, I'm probably going to back up from that and kind of join Emlyn on this side. Okay. Um, I don't know if I could shoot at that point. Uh, no, you won't be able to because okay, okay. you'd have to ready. There's no way you had a you could yeah, have ready, yeah. had your bow ready climbing down the rope. So um, okay. you use your move action and you can ready your bow. Okay. All right, the creature that you have so heinously attempted to hack with the axe, um, it is going to retaliate uh, or retaliate, and um, its tentacles lash out towards Tolgar. Now it has advantage on these attacks. Um, because you use reckless attack. Um, so let me go ahead and do the macro for this. And it is at, let's 
Merci. All right. The first tentacle lashes out towards you. Um, that'll Ooh. be a 22. It is a hit. Wow, plus me. All right. Oof. All righty. Uh, okay, you take eight points of poison damage. Uh, if you are able... Are you resistant in rage to poison? I, I am. In that case, you only take four points, but you need a DC 13 con save, please. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, DC 14 con save. 14, okay. Let's see what happens. Ooh! Hey! Yay! You did it! It is, there it is. <laughs> natural 20! And there's the first natural 20 of the night. Uh, not a bad time to get a natural 20 on a saving throw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, those of you that bet on Jane, you won gold. There you go. Take the money. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> that's the first attack. Uh, second attack. Hey. Uh, 25, that's a hit. Uh, do you both have advantage? They do. Yeah, Reckless Attack is a... I thought... Right, oh. oh, okay. I believe so, unless you know yeah, something Yeah, no, like no you're right. No, you're right. I, just, the whole I was just hoping it would miss. That's all. <laughs> um, yeah, basically, uh, attack rolls against you have advantage until your next turn. So, yeah. um, right, this one hits you for seven points of poison damage, which, again, you'll only take half of that. And DC... 14 con save again. Shrug another 20. Oh. All right, yeah, you're shrugging the, you're shrugging it off. Fine, fine. fine. All right. <laughs> um What about? Okie dokie. Um and that is what that's doing. Now, here's the weird thing. The nasty blobby creature behind you is going to attack you as well. Mm. Um what literally happens is um, you see like a pseudopodded arm like like it, it literally grows an arm out of its blackness and tries to belch you uh, it's attacking you in the rear um, <laughs> and technically these advantage? things have flanking as well which I forgot so they'd have advantage anyway um, but And this one's got advantage, so I gotta do the same macro. And it's at plus. Okay. Uh, yep, alright, so the thing belts you in the back. Um, you take this much damage from the impact. Uh, which is four, oh, so you're going to take half of that. But... You also take... Uh, apparently nothing, because it didn't type. <laughs> 20 points of acid yeah. damage! It burns! It burns! Um, do you have any kind of armor on at all, Tolgar? Uh... Armor? No. Yeah, there you go. Doesn't matter then, does it? Um, so, yeah, 20 points of acid damage. Are you resistant to uh, acid? I am. Okay, well then you only take half of that, so only 10. Okay. 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 Um, and we'll be back to the top of the round for this turn. Tolgar! Alright, oops. Where did it go? Sorry. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah, I am going to uh, continue my two attacks on the weird centipede thing. Okay. 
as I try to ignore the thing trying to bite me in the butt. <gasps> oh, look! Twenty. Lucky. Hey. Natural wow. twenty. So, one point of so much more. Oh, one point. Oh, wow. I mean, that averages out. <laughs> Um, Alright, all right. so you do 19 <laughs> points of slashing damage with that. What the? And again, what? What happened? Natural what 20! Happened? Three in a row. Oh my gosh. Uh, nice. Yeah, talk about like going okay. crazy on it. Three <laughs> wow. in a I row? Really don't like Holy slime. moly. Um, that's cray cray right there. Alright, um, so you did trophy. 19. Yeah. Um, plus 18. All right. Yay. Huh. All right, this thing is um, seriously smacked, damaged, and injured at this point. Um, it is... Some of its legs are missing as Tolgar cleaved through two or three of its appendages at the front... One or a couple of its tentacles got smashed off, and there is green goop dripping down the side of this thing's head and also on its shoulder. I, right, Emlyn. Uh, I'm gonna do two Eldritch blasts, one at each. I'm gonna try to finish the one off that Dolgar's fighting, and then hit the black sludge. Can I see the black sludge with the? Uh, if, if you can see it, then if if you can see yeah, it on the map, okay. you can see it. Yep. So this this at the monster. Okay. All Just, right. And then this at the um, black sludge thingy. Oh, uh, uh, that scared me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was almost both a one hit. Uh, both force damage. So it's fifteen points. Okay. Yep. That has just finished off and decimated the nasty creature. It is deceased. Good job on that. Um, and you slam your forcey powers into the horrid black sludge. Okay. Um, who was next in line in the in the tunnel order? Thelonious, um, right? Yep. All right. So Theo, you are <laughs> the old man descends the rope. However, you basically <laughs> are lowered down and in, into the hole. Um, and of course, you can see what you can see. Um, what do you want to do? Um, so can I see what's attacking, um, Tol uh, Tolgar, that black sludge? Um, I did yell out that hold I was on, what, what did I do that for? sludge. Yeah. No, you cannot. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, you, I would... if you, if you could, if you're, if you're a token cannot see it, you cannot see it. Well, I just mean there's like a bunch of stuff here on the ground. I don't know if that was specifically. Yeah. Um, there's so. nothing okay. that would look like a big inanimate blob of black sludge. No. Okay, but I can tell. But you can see the big green thing blocking half the corridor in front of you. Okay. Um, but I can see that Tolgar's looking like in that direction. Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to instinctive, instinctively uh, run behind him. As that's what I would probably do, since I don't uh, want to be with that big thing there. Ugh. Okay. Can I not scream? Well, it's dead, right? I can tell that it's not moving. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's all. I, that's all I care about. If it's not moving, I'm just gonna get behind where Tolgar's looking because I definitely don't want to be in front of him. Ooh. All right. <laughs> So you're literally clambering up on this bloody thing. Like, well, I'm just going to, like, you know, kind of get that's around. That's disgusting and nasty, but there you go. Okay. <laughs> um, that would be your action. Give me an initiative roll. See where you're going to go in the rotation, please. Oh, I never rolled, so... Oh, and I need you as well, yeah. Let me get initiative for both Kyla and for Elunius. Okay. There it is. So Theo is going at 15, the same hey, as... Hey, there it is. Nice. There it is. And Kyla's going <laughs> with a nine. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I feel so bad. So <laughs> let's see then. Um, did that, did that, did that, did that. Okay. The pud, the uh, the big squishy puddy blob thing. Uh, it is going to lash out a second time at Tolgar. What did you just do, roll 20? 
Freaking out. Stop freaking out. Okay. Okay, it doesn't have disadvantage, or doesn't have advantage this time. Um, alrighty. Oh! Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, that's... Ooh. That's gonna hurt. What is uh, happening? That's going to hurt a lot. So many 20s. <laughs> um, okay, so you're gonna take... Um, from the bludge... Is 11. Oh. Um, so you're actually going to take, um, half of that. Ugh. Uh, now I want to check something real quick here. Um, because I honestly don't know the answer to this. Yeah. Ooh. I think I know the answer, but, um... So bear this with me a second. I will await this is this is payback for all the uh, for all the twenties. Yeah. Let's see. I know. Uh, we're barely in the sewer, and I'm already <laughs> struck. <laughs> yep, thought so. It's all of it. Uh, oh. Um, Okay, Tolgar. Okay. Eat it. Holy Look shit. Look at those eight! Um, 38 points of acid damage. All right, this thing literally <laughs> stuck its tendril into your mouth, pretty much, <laughs> and like just <laughs> slapped it around a bit. That hurt big time. That was a lot of burn. Um, you guys can literally smell the ah! singeing flesh. Close your mouth, that's why we got you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so, he only takes half of that, of course. So, that helps. So, total of 49. So, it's 25 points of damage, Tolgar, from that attack. Yeah. That's not nice. Um... And back to the top of the round. Tolgar, you get to act immediately. What do you want to do? I want to disengage. Um, you're enraged, right? Oh, can I end my rage and disengage? <laughs> Good thing. rhyme. Here's the thing. According to 5e rules, you can. <laughs> <laughs> what according to you? Um, no, I... Yes, you can. If you believe Tolgar right now would snap out of his rage under the circumstances and tactively withdraw, I will totally accept that. That's part of the rules. Have they ever fought something like this before? Yep. I don't think I have. I mean, we are playing 5th edition, so... But you're right, in other yeah, editions, um... you don't get to choose to quit being pissed off at something, especially <laughs> when it's hurting you. Mm -hmm. um, but in 5e, you totally can end your rage at any time. Well, how much health are you on? Um, I'm I have... Just curious. Got loads. I mean, I still got some 67. Oh, I see. I'd stay in, personally. I don't think oh, I would back out. You? Oh, no, I took too much damage. Get him right here. <laughs> That's Look, not why I would back out. Private. I would think my friends can use magics instead of me being eaten alive by this. Okay. But that's non enraged Tolgar, so I go this way. Alright, okay. And I'd say Thelonious, help! So you use disengage. Alright, Emlyn, you're up next. Well, so seeing this quite strange turn of action by Tolgar, like, he's backing away. What? Um, I'm gonna. Don't get near it! I'm gonna cast my big nuke because. That's a first, and seeing Tolgar do that makes me think, oh, this is really dangerous. So I'm going to cast Blight on it. Alright. I'm going to say a Fundi Vatam, and I'm going to cast... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, that's, uh, I guess, a save? What does this thing have for saves? And that is a con save. Alrighty. Uh, uh. 
Killing me, Tolgar. My and it passes. Oh. Um, so, um, as your necrotic energies wash over the thing, um, you're kind of trying to drain moisture from a, a big splodgy blob. Um, so, um, it takes half of that, right? So, 30... And it's not a, yeah. it's not a magical plant. No, it is not a magical plant. <laughs> Unfortunately, oh, wow. it's not a plant, no. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, so, yeah, your necrotic blast hits it. Um, but uh, it is... But still there. Um, Theo! Uh, so, I'm, so I saw where it was at this point then, right? You know it's like, around the corner, yes. Oh, it's over here? Well, that's... Like, I, I couldn't... Uh, you I mean, would have seen, I could have seen Tolgar, but I couldn't well, see where, like, where you it was are. From. Um, you, oh, there you are. Look, I don't want you. Um, you would have seen Emlyn because you can see Emlyn. So you'd have seen yeah. him blast to the south. So you'd know that what he was shooting at um, is round the corner from you. Okay, then I am going to cast uh, Flaming Sphere. Okay, and drop it right around as far around the corners I can see since that's where he was aiming and there's the cast alrighty nice. uh, let me give you a flaming sphere then There we go. And Flaming Sphere is a five foot diameter. Yes. Um. Which one's diameter? That's center to the edge? It's, it's, it's the whole thing. Diameter is the whole. That's right. That's radius is the other one, isn't it? Um, Correct. So it's actually about that big then. All right, so you're going to drop that um, and send it round the corner to hit the thing. Uh, yep. It's a DC save. Um, all right. And it fails, so it's going to take eight yeah. points of fire damage. All righty. Okay. Um, uh, Kyla. And I'm going to... Oh. Um, well, I'm going to back up a little bit as well. Kind of like climb back up on the thing a little more seeing Tolgar <laughs> run away I'm getting like okay definitely don't want to be in that direction All right. so not, okay. not much just a little just a little bit uh, like, well actually no before a... Kyler at this point Spook you will be now down like coming down the hole so you get to um, do whatever you want to do so by the time you're lowered down you're able to see all these people like panicking scurrying around a big spongy black blob that seems to be in the corridor down there um, and like a little ball of fire rolling into it. Um, so what do you want to do? Um, I'm just going to see what they're seeing, what they're aiming at. I'm going to take a step back. That's for sure. Okay. I want to so be right beside it. Drop down through the hole and then back up. Makes sense. Okay. And then I guess that would be what I did. <laughs> All right, makes sense. I don't feel like I would have any other sort of reaction right now. Yeah. Um, Kyla. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, I guess it would be hurt at this point, I'm going to uh, whisper under my breast, Tashi, I got, and I'm going to uh, back into the wall as far as I, as hard as I can, basically. Yeah, there's like a little <laughs> alcovey thing there, so you can actually get yeah. in that if you want to. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna shoot an arrow charged with, uh, charged with a spell here. Once I get on the right spell page, there it is. Okay. Wait, no, that's class actions. Never mind. And thank you for the cheer, Table Prince. Hey, thank you. All right, what are you going to do? Thank you. Ensnaring strike. Okay. Next time I hit something, it's stuck. <laughs> uh, Gore, sorry, can you uh, shutter me for one second? Oh, yeah, give me a sec. Yeah. 
Uh, let me find you real quick. Shutter, set mode. Shutter, where's the... Thank Check you. It shutter, gotcha. All right. Um, and... Let's see. And it will pass that save. Ah, uh, that's okay. Still shooting it. Yep. Um, <laughs> so, um, let's see. Oh! Holy yeah. natural yeah. 20! Yeah. All these freaking 20s Welcome tonight. To Welcome to one, two, right? One, I think two. it's two. Is it two? You're Welcome right. You're on two. one already. Welcome to two. Yeah, he's, he's, he's already got out. one under his belt. So, okay. all right. Um, so, 10 let points. And the, why does... Yeah, you, you've got to fix your macro me, yeah, still. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. There we go. All right. Um, so, total of 15. All right. It is its turn. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah. That's if it ends its turn. All right. Um... It is moving right up into the center of the corridor, like just rolling across the floor, like the th like some kind of disgusting, ginormous blob. Because that's exactly what it is, a big, disgusting, ginormous blob. Um, okay. We have potentially four targets. Uh, well, no, probably three, because you guys are directly in front of it. Um, so we're going to do like we normally do and be nice and fair uh, one or a two it's Kyla three or a four it's Spook five or a six it is Emlyn that it chooses to send out um, a pseudo potted arm towards uh, that's Kyla yep alright okay Suddenly, a huge, big, black tendril flashes out. <laughs> Ow! Okay, what is happening? Oh, no. Kyla's Ow! <laughs> Kyla's came back dead. at, like, the worst time. Holy hell. No. Um, okay. Um. So, you take five points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> And are bathed heavily in acid. This is gonna hurt. Thirty points oh. of acid damage. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, okay. Do you have any armor? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what is the? How many armor points does your armor provide you? Uh, twelve. Uh, no, the actual armor yeah. itself. Okay. I don't, I don't know. It's a uh, studded leather, so... So is that two or three? Three, I think? I think? Three? Check. Um, uh, not quite dead, but that friggin' hurt. Um, oh, my God. Ouch. Uh, let's yeah. see. Uh, studded leather, I think, I, I, I want to say it gives an AC of 12, so it's two points, right? Yeah. Alright, I... well, uh, permanently deduct one of those from the armor. Um, it takes a permanent one point of damage. If it takes another one, it is destroyed. Okay. Uh, so, Gore, I have a question. Um, uh -huh. If it moved, does did it move through the sphere of fire or anything along those lines? I don't know if uh, that's how, it how it works. works so. Is the sphere does damage to anything on the turn if it ends its turn in it? Got it. Okay. Just to make so sure. it obviously it moved out of the fire because it didn't want yes, to burn. Yes, yes, yes. Um, cool. Okay. So yeah. Just double checking. But that doesn't mean you can't roll it into it next turn. Um, roll it back into it. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, that that was harsh. So Kyla <laughs> probably looks in a bad, bad way right now. Um, hypothetically, yeah. how many hit points have you got? Are you back, Shag? Uh, okay, yes, so... Yes, uh, yeah, is. Okay, alright. Ooh. Welcome to four. <laughs> <laughs> that was nasty, man. Um, wow. Okay. Um, it is Tolgar's turn to react. What do you want to do, Tolgar? This thing just yeah. about engulfed and killed your friend. 
So um, like... I'm sorry. Do I need to roll initiative now? Or uh, yes, please. Wait? Yes. Because right. your sorry, initiative. Jane. No, no, you're no, right. Because your initiative will right. count this you're turn, right. and we do need to know where you're going to be. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, oh well, God. okay. Yep. Oh, about right. man. <laughs> about right. You too? You too? Uh. You're going dead last. Okay. Um, all right, Tolgar, what do you want to do, buddy? All right, feeling in a bad way about what just happened. I rage again this time. And I do not stop trying to hit this thing. All right. Um, as I have failed, my friend. I think you're battle. close enough to probably get two attacks if you want. Yeah, definitely. Would like, would like the two attacks. <laughs> There's the one. Uh, hold up. Okay, hold on a second. It's tiny. Okay. Oh. Your axe hits the middle. <laughs> it goes <laughs> and turns oh. into two. They're multiplying as I hit the second one. And you do. Okay. Okay. Oh. And that one splits. They're multiplying. There are now. Um, three of them. Oh God, Tolgor, stop! Um, <laughs> all right, Emlyn, uh, what do you want to do, buddy? <laughs> You're muted. You're muted. <laughs> I'm Eldritch blasting one for each of the little ones. So I'm doing my Eldritch blast and one for each. Okay. Um, the f let me see. Ooh. 13 to hit and 20 to hit. All right. Um, yeah, they both hit. Um, uh, 12 damage to one, 14 to another. All right. So let me see. Uh, 12 and 14. i got to keep up with these damn things now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, 12 to that one, 14 to that one. Um, all right, Theo. Okay, I'm going to move my uh, sphere so that it's right in between these both of those two. Alright. And then I am going to uh, shoot... So you can go a... ahead and roll the damage for them for this turn. Oh, okay. Roll um, it once and we'll apply it. it to both. Okay. I did, sorry, I didn't have that ready. Uh, that's that's right. my next turn here. And that's... Uh... Sorry, I gotta get back to it. Right, um, while he's doing that, somewhere in the distance, Where to the west, so? you suddenly hear... <laughs> <laughs> as it sounded like bacon just got created. Hmm, lovely. Somewhere in the that dark, a pig sense. met its demise. So it's 2d6 for the damage. Mm -hmm. Shall I roll here. Nice. Nice damage. All right. Yeah. Ten. <clears throat> All right. Um, those are both kind of burnt and um, shriveled. Oh, sweet. Still there currently. Oh, um, they're still there. Okay. I'm afraid so. Uh, Kyla. Okay. Oh, did I not get a turn? Oh, sorry. No, you were still going to do something, weren't you? That was your yeah, concentration. That, that's yep. a, yeah, that's a bonus action. Yeah, movement. that's right. Sorry. Um, no, it's okay. So I'm going to cast uh, Fire Bolt at one of the closest ones then. Okay. Uh, the closest one to me here. Uh, yeah, that's probably the one you can see clearly without Tolgar's fat head in the way. Oh, um, you hit it, and that actually does singe and butcher and fry that one. It goes... Sweet. And pretty much just kind of dis dissipates down in amongst all the trash. Okay, good okay. job. Um, Kyla. Oh, but you got, is it got me and put it in the. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> Zephyr Strike there. <laughs> and, uh, use it to escape to the other side behind <laughs> Tolgar. Okay, uh, populate Zephyr Strike for chat. Well, 
will do. <laughs> uh. You gotta love Zephyr Strike. So as a bonus action, your movement doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity, <laughs> um, which is the whole point. Um, before the spell ends, you can give yourself advantage on one weapon attack roll. The attack will deal an extra D8. Okay. So you're gonna move thirty feet. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm like, where do you want to go to? Trying to collect myself, I'm gonna bounce into the wall there. Probably trip on the garbage here, smack my face on that, stumble backwards, and then get behind whatever that mountain is. Uh, uh, it's Tolgar. Okay. Um, probably from there, you really can't get a shot in at one of these things anyway. So yeah, that's okay. But that's okay. It, it got you out of the got you out of the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, let me zoom in a little bit closer here. There. Um, it's pudding time. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, the puddings are going to move to get out of the flame and attack the first little pudding. This little pudding went for Tolgar. Ah. <laughs> ah. What about the piggy that's ran away? This that little piggy is roast no pork. More. Um, Bacon. I will went to the market. Okay, Tolgar. Um, Woo! Hit. All right, you receive seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Tiny pudding. And sixteen points of burn. From the acid. So much burn. All right, uh, Emlyn or Lilith. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna give you a fifty-fifty. Yeah. One or a two is Lilith. Three or a four it is Emlyn. Who does he hate the most? Apparently Lilith has oh. got gained its sights. Um, all right, Lilith lashes out with its huge, big pseudopod, and you manage <gasps> to push yourself to the side as it goes, <laughs> and you hit. Lucky. Burning down the side of the old decaying stone wall. All right. Um, Lilith, you now get to react. What do you want to do? It's your turn. Uh, I'm still going to do this. I was going to do this when Kyla was beside me. So she's not there anymore. Will I still do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Um, I'm going to cast a mirror image. Okay. All right. Um, the illusion duplicate of yourself appears in your space until the spell ends. The duplicate moves with you, mimics your actions, shifting position so it's impossible to track which image is real. All right. Um, each time a creature attacks you... Um, rolls a d20 to determine whether the attack instead targets one of the duplicates. Um, how many duplicates do you have? Uh, it's uh, equal it to... says three. Okay, then uh, it's one. And uh, I'm just going to space them around the creature, like trying to block myself an M1, I would think, since we're squishiest. Um... Uh, well, there's not much room for them to room fit for between you. Between. Yeah, so, I mean, you can kind of put them like this all the way around it. I mean, it really doesn't matter because the way the spell works, it has to make the dice roll to determine regardless. Yeah. So that's how it is. So it doesn't matter really where you put them so much. Um, so, um, duplicates, you must roll a six or higher to change the attack target to a duplicate. With two duplicates, you must roll eight or higher. With one duplicate, you must roll an 11 or higher. Um, so, let's see. You have... I think that's a typo. What? Um, I don't know. It was copy pasted. So. Yeah, um, because it says <laughs> if you have three duplicates, you must roll a six or higher to change the attacking the attack's target to a dupe. Oh, okay, no, no, you roll that. So that's no, it does make sense because you're the one rolling. That's right. Okay. Um, Okie dokie. 
So you have summoned multiple versions of yourself. It is wall to ball. It's wall to wall boobs all around that thing now. Um, Talgar. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, uh, my first attack is on this little uh, small, small little little pudding, little pudding pie. I... <laughs> pudding pie. Oh, uh, yeah, you hit it. Congrats. <laughs> and you split it in two. And I'm still enraged, so I just pick one of them and I hit it again. All right. <laughs> Help! <laughs> um, okay, yeah, you hit it. Um, tiny little fucking... Oh, do you hit, though? Yeah. You hit on a two. Man. <laughs> uh, he... They have an AC of seven. Because um, <laughs> oh, they're so small, that makes sense. Yeah. No, it's because they're they're big they're blobs. <laughs> they don't okay. mean much. Yeah. Pudding doesn't right. have a high AC. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. If ever you wanted to know and you wanted to attack banana pudding, it's easy. That's why most uh, people can eat it. Bottom line is, if unless Tolgar rolls a one, which is always a miss, he hits a pudding. That's a bad thing. Um, I hit a pudding. Okay, um, <laughs> Emlyn. I'm going to um, unload my blast into the large pudding that is th- threatening um, Lilith and myself. Because the little puddings don't really scare me so much anymore. <laughs> oh, the way you said that, line. dude. <laughs> well, it's a weird. Oh, not much damage. Ooh. Oh. Both, uh, both on the the medium size. Uh, <laughs> on the, the, on the medium size yeah. pudding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what's that? A total uh. of thirteen points of damage. Okay. And then I'm gonna. I'm going to back up because I'm a coward. All right. Um, you have destroyed <laughs> that one. That was enough. Oh, good. Because um, that had already taken a large... Basically, every time you hit one and they split, I divide their hit points between the two. That one still had, you know... But um, there we go. So, okay. Good job, Emlyn. Theo! So I'm going to move the, the spear just slightly closer here so it gets those two there. Okay, uh, give me the fire there. damage on those two. Yep. 2d6, coming up. Okay. Ooh, for <laughs> six. Okay, um, that one is destroyed. By your fire. Okay. okay. And then the one that's, again, closest <laughs> the little, to me, I'm going to... The little black, the little the little black blob. <laughs> he'll, he'll put in, I'm going to uh, fire off another um, firebolt at it. Okay. Oh, for two. Oh, um, unlucky. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> Kyla. Thank you. Thank you. You're from welcome, everyone. From your safe positioning yeah, over yeah. here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to see about kill stealing that one right there. <laughs> All right. So you're going to kind of, you're going to get around Tolgar a little bit to get a shot. I'll be damned if I nearly get killed by something that pathetic at this point. All right. Um, also, you are within, let's see, you are, uh, it's just outside of 10. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, yep. You're going to, so you'll have to kind of move, not you, uh, move yourself because yeah. make life easier. Just moved. Okay. There you go. Little. Okay. Um, yep, that pierces that one, and leaving just one tiny pudding left to react, <laughs> um, which it can, um, and it's right pudding. here, so it's going to try to attach itself to Tolgar's leg. No, take one of the four Liliths. <laughs> no, because they're not by it. You are. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. okay. It didn't hit. Uh, Liliths. <laughs> <laughs> what do the Liliths want to do? Uh, I, there's such a, like, clusterfuck <laughs> right here in the center of the screen. I can't tell what, what is, if that um, makes any sense. Well, there's all I'm, of you guys there, and there's this little thing right here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna firebolt that little bastard, though, okay. I guess. 
Let's see if you get more than two damage. <laughs> Don't hold jinx it. Hey, I rolled one on my initiative. Two damage is good damage. Uh, that's a hit, and a five will take it out. Yeah. All oh, right. Congrats. Um, you have killed whatever the green slimy thing was, and a big pile of b- black goop. Congratulations. <sighs> Deep breaths. All right. You know that's a darn good place to stop and have a quick break because I I'm gonna remember yeah, to get one in this time so uh, we don't forget. What's the duration on your um, Liliths? One minute. All right, so probably not going to be around for much longer. Only a few seconds left, anyway. All right, we're going to take a <laughs> Can quick break. Can you just break. imagine four Lilith standing side by side, like saying the same things? At I know the same it would time. be like, "Oh my god, shoot me now!" The trouble is, <laughs> most guys just would instead of looking like you know how when in these situations, certain guys would be like having a hard time keeping their eyes from looking down. The problem is, their eyes are going to be going left and right a lot instead. Um, a lot of boobies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a short break. Um, Kyla, I'm gonna walk up to her. Are you okay? Well, that's not Kyla. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, and and sorry. the Liliths go. I can't tell. That's You're not all, Kyla. Oh, like we're weird. not Kyla. She's over <laughs> it there. It looks like there, there, there. <laughs> <laughs> you Kyla. women. Are I'm sorry. Sad. <laughs> you really can confuse me with that plain girl. I mean, she's sweet, but come on, sweet. Kyla, sorry, you okay? Yeah, so yeah, I'm just, uh, you know, uh, real, real good here. Real- I want to apologize. It wouldn't have hit you if I had had backed up. It's my fault. Yeah, about that. What's what? I, Togar, what happened? Is there something you don't know about me? I spin around. Where'd you go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the uh, the that duration would on be your light weird. spell? There's like four of them, and then you turn back around, and there's just one of us. <laughs> <laughs> yep. A duration on your light spell is um, it's pretty long, isn't it, Matt? I uh, yeah, I I flip it back on it's a cantrip so if it, if i see it starting to go out i would just snap it back on again yeah what's the uh what is the duration on it i think it's an hour but let me check i could be wrong uh oh, one hour yep yeah okay yeah uh, i'll i'll cast it again just in case there you go yep secret togar <sighs> no it's just that <sighs> one of my fears it's being suffocated and I thought maybe that goo would engulf me and I would suffocate. Is it is it having something shoved down your throat like that? Because I can help you. <laughs> <laughs> it just takes practice. Um I like the where this is going, but maybe another time, uh. right? <laughs> uh the pig, we heard it that way, and I'm gonna point to the west. Um so should we go the other way? Viola, are you okay to keep going? As long as I don't get hit again. Yeah. I mean, she has got a terrible skin complexion going on right now with all that acid damage. Um, And the. I'm taking a bit of a rest. Yeah, the studded leather that she's wearing kind of sort of looks like beaten rags with little metal pins stuck on it at this point. Hmm. I don't know. Do I look like one of your girls here? <laughs> not that, Hardly. Not, not that anyone I would pay for. <laughs> a little, a, a little foundation does a world of good, sweetheart. It'll be fine. All right. Well, uh, pressing on then. Just stay in the back and don't get hit. So, yeah. there's an opening to the left and right up ahead. Like the corridors. Oh, by the way, you all heard the pig squeal, right? Yes. I think we're still not alone down here. Yes. There's a big gaping hole here, do you think? Whatever. Oh, you want to go towards the pig? Yeah. Isn't that the point? Be better than getting ambushed later. I, I was honestly suggesting we go east, not west, but I'll go near this direction, sure. 
We have to find the monster that did it. I'm not sure it was either one of these. Alright. Lead the way. Look for any signs of Porthen. Porthen's work. Alright, okay. What's this hole? Okay, um, yeah, there appears to literally be a large circular hole in the ground. There's broken tile all the way up around it, letting you know that something clearly came up and out of the hole as opposed to going down. The bits of tile are laying all over the place. Um, um well, I mean, that could have been where the the green monster came from. Could be. Uh, looks, or something else. Looks about the same pr- diameter as its body. Okay. Maybe it's been digging underneath the city, killing. I'm gonna try to scoop by it. For diameter, I'm pretty sure that's what came out of there. (laughs) All right. So again, for chat, um, our our players only see what their characters can see. So in Tolgar's situation, he sees basically this because he has a glowing. His light spell cast on his axe. Otherwise, he couldn't see squat. Um, so that's literally what he pig? sees. Uh, I just know it was from. I mean, it ran off this way, right? You saw the pig. It, the sound came from this way. I don't know whether it was more upper. Or... Uh, yeah, in the, in the heat the right. of everything going on, it was kind of like just a, a shrill noise that you heard from down this car, down this direction. Beyond a, that, a bit, oh, a bit echoey. Yeah, I bet we could see if it landed in the sludge. We could maybe see footprints, little feet, <laughs> little pig hooves. Yeah. Um, yeah are you so you you want to try and track and see if you can see where it actually came no, from? No, I would probably say Kyla. Do you see feet, hooves, <laughs> of sludge? <laughs> Uh, yeah, go up, go up there. I'm gonna go ahead and try and track the pig now. That's. <laughs> I, uh, Kyla, <laughs> give me a survival skill check. I'm so glad you didn't say reflex. Oh my god. Because exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're right in a hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly another Pumped green out. thing just pops out, <laughs> snatches Fine. him, and disappears. Yeah. Uh, okay, um. For a little while, strangely enough, Tolgar was not as dumb as he sounds, because indeed, the pig did stand <laughs> in <laughs> sludge, um, and until that sludge wears off, of course, once it does, you're not following it through across this tile, but it does indeed seem to be the pig went this way. Okay. Pig's Kyla, up, pull up back. There. Pig's up there. Go. Okay. Oh. Kyla, why don't you stay in the middle, <laughs> not the back? I'll keep an eye out behind us. Right. Have you ever felt pain in your bones before? Yes, every day. Thelonious <laughs> 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 has arthritis. Come on, guys, you know he has. You'll, you'll get, you'll get used to it. Each day gets a little bit easier and easier. Till it just becomes a part of daily life. <laughs> uh, Thelonious is depressing me. That's <laughs> uh, so sad. <laughs> Thelonious, wait. Yes. Uh, looking back, I'm gonna I'm gonna point into the this other room. Um, okay. Can you see that? No, I can. Uh, can you oh. see anything? No, but uh, give, give me uh, just a moment, please. And I'm going to um, make a little movement over my eyes and cards to cast uh, Dark Vision on myself. Oh, uh, hold on a second. Definitely me, want uh, to see this. Let me g- tag you. What's the duration on your Dark Vision? Is eight hours. Yeah, I think we're Here's safe those. to apply it. Okay. Um, so has sight and Dark Vision... And 
there is some light source around, so there we go. Okay. And let me make uh, sure I've got that right. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you've now got your own vision. Good deal. What? What do you? What are you looking at? Uh, I don't. Look! Don't. Look! Look at the tile lines. There's a little silver white. Um. It looks, yeah, it, it looks like um, there is definitely some kind of marking there. Uh, oh, yes, I see. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. I mean, could it be a trap? Or... Would be a... Uh, wording? So hearing Possibly? this, I'm going to say, uh, there's some up here, too. Are you really commenting on the interior design right now? The choice isn't the best, but... Well, we, we don't know exactly what's down here. It seems everything is not friendly, so using this evidence uh, might help us uh, deduce what is or is not a threat. <laughs> I noticed that when you said trap, <laughs> Tolgar kind of stepped back from the silver. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> let me... Let me... Do not touch it, please. Be careful. Let me take a look here. I'm going to move forward um, and lean down and see if I can see what it is, if it's a marking, if it's a residue of some sort. Just kind of inspect it a little closer. All right. Um, Perception check, please. Perception check. Thelonious is strong suit, obviously. <laughs> Perception. <laughs> I got it. Taste <laughs> yeah, takes uh, out some little little tiny specks. All right. Um, <laughs> eat some paint. So <laughs> just, I mean, yeah, just looking at it. <laughs> Maybe I do. So what? Yeah. Um, best guess, just looking at it, is yeah. At some point, obviously, this was made and put here to vibrantly mark something. Of course, with the passage of time and being underground and all of that sort of stuff. I mean, it's starting to fade and you know disappear um but looking at it you can't really discern much more than that all right. um i don't believe it poses a th uh, any threat for the moment it looks it looks to be a bit um old not that there's anything wrong with that and things old can still be very powerful but in this case i think <laughs> we are quite quite safe to <laughs> okay 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 uh, it's true mm. And Can also, continue? the pig ran through here, probably didn't notice it and uh, avoid it, you know. Uh, but... Yes, Tolga, you have nothing to fear, especially not suffocation of any kind. Please, proceed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is okay. It's just cracked, cracked Yeah, it flooring? just looks like um, damaged and cracked flooring. I go up to the corner here, because there's a... Oh! Back All right, up. the second you... No, literally, <laughs> as you get up to the corner, a massive, ginormous, bony hook comes oh. flying around the oh. corner and lashes oh. towards you. Skeksis? They kind of do look like Skeksis, don't they? Um, yeah. Not very nice at all. Um, wow. That comes out as like, an eyeball. <laughs> yeah, it's like was waiting there in the dark to ambush anybody Is there bacon along. on its beak? Um, it Bacon. does indeed seem to have blood, ah. all fresh blood around its mouth. Yes. All right. Um. Okay. Okay. The huge hook comes flashing out towards you. Um, Run away! <laughs> and <laughs> let's see. Uh, would have been a thirteen. So uh, it missed. Okay. Um. Second attack with the third no. with the second hook. <laughs> That's two attacks. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> and that also misses. Yay! All right, so yeah, literally so as lucky. this thing kind of comes, you know, it like comes flying out of the thing. Um, <laughs> these huge, big, ginormous claws. So um, they literally are the end of its arms become bone again like flesh becomes bone and it has massive long huge almost like some kind of bizarre praying mantis type claws on the end of it but they are long they incredibly sharp and incredibly unpleasant um all right wow. um 
Maybe, just maybe, some of you might want to throw a dice or two to figure out an initiative order. Okay. Maybe I'll just hit this one out. <laughs> 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 oh. 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 All right, so let's have a look. We got Emlyn on a 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lilith pulls a 19. Theo is on a 16. Kyla is going to sit around at the bottom there. And then Tolgar, because he gets to roll twice, is going at the top. Let's see where my thingy is going to go. Uh, ew. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything to do with your thingy? Thank I you. wasn't oh, right. going to say anything, Shag it. Jesus. <laughs> okay, he's going right there. Okie dokie. So, um, yep, that basically happened um, before the combat round that occurred um, as a surprise attack. Um, so, let's go ahead. Um, and Tolgar, you were effectively surprised, so... Um, it is start of the round with uh, Tolgar still at the top. Question, can you describe its body? Because it looks like it's like sitting in an egg and it's hatching. Um, it's yeah. kind of big and chita- uh, well, <laughs> uh, let's see. I've also got a pic of it, right? Oh, go ahead and say the word. I wanted to hear it. Chit- there it is. Chitness. Uh, it's, 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 it's basically, <laughs> yeah, it's got like a chitness body. Um, okay. Which does seem to have like a large thing thick kind of sh- almost like a large carapacic shell on its back okay it almost looks like a snapping turtle with long legs and claws in a weird way that is weird who's the, who's the kaiju I'm thinking of with the, the hook hands from that's Godzilla. Bob. Bob Bob the kaiju oh you're right that's Bob. the one <laughs> yeah I don't know um, alright I'm gonna move in um I'm gonna get over here, just to give some. Oh, sorry, I can't see much. I'm gonna get kind of here. Okay. So it's turning this way. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna say good luck, everyone. I'm gonna rage up. All right, that's three and rages you've done so far. Good luck, three everyone. Three rages. <laughs> <laughs> May the rage forever oh, be in your favor. First favorite. attack. Oh wow. Okay. Second attack. Oh oh! She, I smell oh, it. I okay. smell oh, it. Oh come on! It's a twenty. Roll twenty. Listen, do you want to kill this thing or not? Not if you get a twenty. Oh. Yeah. This is the type of people they are, Jane. chat. They'd rather right. die than Jane get twenties. <laughs> yes, um, I'd rather yeah. die. Guys, oh, all I want to uh, do well, is the first display blow. that trophy on my Okay, as you swing your axe at it the first time, its bony claw comes around and knocks it to the side. However, you manage to use that as an opportunity to dive underneath and smash as hard as you can onto its front-facing left leg, doing 22 points of damage. All right, yeah, you smash into its knee and it buckles just momentarily. Um, its turn is next. Um... Ooh. And it retaliates at the only thing that it really knows to retaliate at. The Tolgar. That is Wild neat. Tolgar. It's like Tolgar. a nature Tolgar. Tolgar. <laughs> a wild Tolgar appears. Alright. Um, okay, the first huge hook comes slashing towards Ooh. Tolgar in the dark. Uh, it hits. It just hits. And followed by the second. Ooh, ah, they, they both, both hit. hit. All right. No. Um, so the grand total. It's a good thing you raged. I would not attack this thing. Yeah, without raging. Doing it. <laughs> You're going to run out of rages soon enough. I got two left. Ah, a total of 25, oh so 13. Okay. <gasps> All right. Yeah, it slashes at Tolgar twice giving him a scratch across his right um, right shoulder, and then he brings the axe up to more or less block the second one, but it kind of like slams his arm back and presses against him with great force. Um, Emlyn. Yeah, I'm going to blast it twice. First one. Uh, the Eldritch Blast. Okay, the first one, um, 
lands a little short and just knocks a small... You see a little... As blasts of broken tile come up off the ground in front of it. Um, the second one, however, strikes it solidly in the chest for ten points of force damage. Yay. Lilith! Sorry, the cat ran up and stared at me kind of wild-eyed, and I was like, what'd I do? Um, I'm going to cast Bane. Hi. Okie dokie. One, two, three creatures of your choice that you can see within range, which is the one creature that you can see within range. Um, and it has... Uh, all right, and that is a charisma save. Let's see. It has uh, failed. So, um, woohoo! Whenever a target that fails, a saving throw makes an attack roll or a saving throw. Um, basically, it rolls a d4 and subtracts that from it. And that will last for the next six rounds. Okay, cool. Do you want to do anything else with the movement or anything like that? Or just hold your ground? Sorry, uh, that's my fault. I was answering a question in chat. Oh, uh, that's all right. Uh, oh, I'm gonna. I'm, I don't think I would move back. I'm kind of afraid of Kyla get, getting hit at all. So, so you're gonna hold your position there? Uh, yeah. Don't worry, she'll all find right. next turn from something else. All right, Thelonious. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna. Uh, kind of angle myself a little bit better here to get a um, clear shot and I'm going to cast magic missile at uh, level 3 alright so I will pop up magic missile magic muscles yes which will uh, I think just roll for one so I'll have to roll the other dice or yeah so I have to roll two more d4s Um, yep so that is a total of nine and then you need another two d4 plus two yes Okay, and here are those. Ah. There you go. All right. Okay, so a total of 16 points as your magic missile strike the creature. Okay. Balls of glowing magic spiral through the air, um, buzzing past Lilith's right ear and slam into this thing's chest. Um, Kyla. Kylo Ren. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just. I'm gonna try and get a good vantage, maybe between their shoulders, and take a shot at it. Okay. Yeah. That counts. All right. Because that's uh, that's that's what I that's what I have on me right now. That's what you have. That's what you can do. That's what <laughs> I have. There All we right. Go. Uh, the first arrow ricochets off of its um plated right shoulder. And skizzles into the ceiling. Well, that's that's the whole arrow. So the yeah. entire arrow. Oh, that's right. You MC, <laughs> didn't you? Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> um, Tolgar. Hello. I. It's uh, hello. What? Uh, thank you for uh, having this fight with me. I very much appreciate it. <laughs> very not very often. I shake your spike. <laughs> and makes a fair fight. Nothing below the belt. Um, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going yeah, to attack. I've got a great idea. If you want a fair you. fight, let's say nothing except natural weapons. What? Uh, you put the axe down and fight with your fist. I'll fight with my fists. Mm, the axe <laughs> in the face. Oh. oh. Space, no. No. Second axe in the face. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. 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 Tolgi. <laughs> All right, Tolgar. Tolgi. Um, well, the first one is a colossal miss, and so is the second one. Um, you distracted yourself mm. with talking. You know you can't talk and fight at the same no, time. I tried it. <laughs> Especially um, when you're mad. Right? Okay. Um, uh. It is going to sw- as you are still the only thing that is worth hitting. Um, it is going to try to strike you one miss. Some Two more. Misses. Uh, they both Two miss. Misses. Yay. All right. Okay, just a yep. null fight. Being a little bit more defensive, the first one swipes at you. You manage to duck underneath it. The second one Boring. comes crashing down. You throw your body to the wall as it just goes 
and like busts up some more of the broken tile. Uh, Emlyn. Um, I'm going to cast um, Chill Touch this time. Okay. So I'm, I'm curious Netflix about something. And chill, touch. chill Touch, dude. <laughs> All right. Oh, that damage, though. Because you want to do four points of necrotic damage. Okay. It's um, chill, though. I wanted to see if it would have an extra. If you didn't notice anything different, but I get you want to see if it was resist. If it was um, able to Maybe be it's... hurt by that, or um... yeah, more. Okay, this is all chitney. <laughs> all right, <laughs> yeah. Your ghostly oh, skeletal hand appears in the air, um, and uh, so chill. It was four damage. <laughs> There, uh, this is little. Uh, this is the most pathetic bit of magic I can do. Huh. There you catch it, like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For four. There you go. <laughs> All right. Um, if you're not doing anything else, Lilith, it's over to you. Okay, I have a, a question. Uh -huh. If Togar were to move past this thing, would he get an attack of opportunity on him? Like, um, even if he was still facing it. Only if he leaves its range. Okay, um... So, unless there's something that negates that, Attack of Opportunity applies any time you leave combat range with something you're in combat with. Alright, uh... Um, your guess is this thing has very long arms and long claws, so it probably can reach quite far. Can you turn it, Tolgar? Can you turn it around? Try. <laughs> Try. He's enraged, so his answer is probably. That's <laughs> all we can ask for. Just a try. Oh, that's true. He's enraged. He may not be able to like really respond to me, huh? Uh, basically, enraged means he is losing his shit. So yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna bother. Although with in five E, barbarians to... are the most calm, collect, enraged people <laughs> in the history of the ever, but oh, history ever. But, okay, you know. I'm just gonna assume that he's not gonna be strategic with me, and I'm actually going to back up and turn and run the other way to try to see if I can get behind it because I see it has a room behind it. Okay. Ooh. That it came out of. Yep. Um. Alright. Uh, well, you have 30 foot move and you can dash for 60 if you wish. Okay. The... The little, might be an issue. the little thingy is different now, so it's taken me a second. <laughs> the little <laughs> thing. Different. Oh, the arrow is it different. Is. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. so when they updated, uh, you don't need to press. You don't need to hold down Alt anymore. That, oh, okay. It. Yeah, just okay, so here would be. It doesn't 20 snap. Feet. Yeah, twenty foot to the little thing there. To so that's there. twenty. <laughs> <It's> my chill <laughs> touch. My little skeletal hand. <laughs> oh shit! You're right. I can't see. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, without some form of light source, you're blind as a bat, and all the light is up there in the corridor. Oh. So, um... Oh, that's such a good idea, too. Do I ha did I have a torch? I don't think I have anything on me. No, you'd have to stop and light it either way. Um... I guess? Well, no, I don't want to take his turn away to do that. Damn it. Uh, let me check my inventory to see if I actually have. Okay, so you run back to there and then go, I wonder if I've got anything, and start rooting through your backpack. <laughs> oh, I don't, I, it doesn't matter, I don't have anything. As I run by Thelonious, I'm going to say, light me up. Okay. Um, and stop right here as I realize I can't see shit. Okay. All right. Okie dokie. Um, and it is Thelonious' turn, so... Uh, what do you want to do? You want to give her light so she can do something? I mean, because I'm a nice person, yes. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right, what are you going to What are you gonna illuminate? Nice person. I'm going to like just kind of glance over my shoulder and look at her. And uh, does she have like a necklace on? Uh, or I anything do. yeah you do right okay so i'm gonna uh, uh and just see if, because my eyes just will uh, go there naturally not because of any other reason so <laughs> <gonna see laughs> apple, right above her cleavage uh, i'm gonna see them uh, and just kind of in, in a sort of a panic just snap my finger and illuminate the necklace for her thank you so that she can see and i'm gonna kind of turn back around 
uh, and all right, there you go. Now you now it. you have your own light. You have a your own vision. Okay, cool. Um, Kyla. Um, so seeing Lilith run in that way, I'm going to take another shot at the thing from here, and then I'm probably going to turn and start following. Okay. All right. Because. Uh, in my mind, she's running, and that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, um, your arrow finds its mark this time. Uh, ten points of damage. Nice. All right, yep. Yeah. Um, managed to find a small chink between two pieces of carapace um, and do some damage. All right. Um, and then you're going to use your movement to basically yeah, yeah. go oh, there. Yeah. Okay, Tolgar. Tolgar. I'm going to try again. I'm not going to speak. I'm just going to do. <laughs> Good strategy. With all the damn 20s you roll, you're done out. You roll, you've used everything no, you've got. No, stop it. Nah, <laughs> she's going to roll one now. Look at this it's a 1 in 20 chance. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. See? Okay, wait. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's ah, a hit. It's a hit. Nice. It's a hit, boys. All right. Um, This time... <laughs> Um, reaffirming his rage, Tolgar manages to bring the axe, swipes at it first as it pulls back to the side, leaning its upper body and pulling its mighty claw back to avoid being hit, um, spinning in a full circle. Unfortunately, it put its left side of its body closer to Tolgar, and he buries his axe straight into its chest. Um, the thing collapses to the ground, <laughs> rolls around momentarily, and then ceases... <laughs> I don't know why I bother doing anything. <laughs> and, and just Tolgar just let Tolgar kill hey, everything. For what it was worth, I thought it was a really <laughs> good idea. idea that you were going to do. Um, yeah. It was a great idea. And it just, that by the time you got round to getting it all set up, brute force uh, had won uh, through this time. Last oh, turn, man. all he did was create you more things to fight. This time, <laughs> he actually killed something. Uh, <laughs> What are the odds? But no, I thought that was actually a very a very good tactic and was a, potentially a very smart thing. It just didn't work out this time. <laughs> oh, it remains, the damage it, output it, between the two of us? It, it reminds me of like Dark Inquest when, when Bane would spend 10 turns getting in position while Kia's just nuking it down. Oh, <laughs> well, the difference was that was just... If so she'd fun. have already had the light source, that would yeah. have, you know... But, yeah, yeah, okay. No, um, yep. The uh, the nasty creature is destroyed. Uh, in a rage, I'm gonna. The ambush predator in the dark. Oh, and then there's nothing there. <gasps> and I run in here to fight things. Uh, it, it's oh. right then that you realize that Spook's idea would have worked perfectly because it was yeah. indeed a loop. <laughs> uh. I guess I'm ending my rage. All right. Okay. Oh, running through the whole thing. <laughs> oh, and then I'll just run into the two girls. Uh, there's a journey north. Oh, a yes. journey, is it? <laughs> it's a journey north, yep. Yeah. Let's it's go on a journey it's north. Like it, could, it poked out an eyeball and sucked up a brain. And now that I can think, I'm going to look at the... Uh... Um, as hard as these things hit, if it did hit something in the eye, it would probably smash straight through and out the back of its head. Doesn't look like it was the, right the sort creature. of thing that would have done something so tactful as pluck out an eye. Well, I mean, since I have light, <laughs> I guess I'll walk over here just to make the loop around this thing. Just to realize, <laughs> oh, that would have worked. <laughs> uh, you can clam clamber over its corpse. Okay. Let's uh, check this north section. Yeah. All right, so just so you're aware, um, you can see that there's little flights of stairs. And that is mm -hmm. actually like a, sl it's like a, it goes up about five feet. So that's kind of raised five foot above this area here. Okay, I'll use that then. Oh, oh, excuse me, Togar. What? No, dude, you just... <laughs> <laughs> climbing uh, the stairs. Okay. Left or right? 
Okay, so uh, yeah, to the right it carries along like this little balcony, um, and there is a left opening down on the bottom level. Uh, looks like a crypt in here of some sort. Oh. All right, let's see what can you Great. see from there. Let me have a look. Yeah, not that much looks yet. Looks like a lot of going in. What is that? Okay, um, so it, at first glance, you can see four destroyed stone sarcophaguses, two on each side of the, of the chamber. Um, that appears to be, it looks like a broken urn or something like that. Um, give me a perception check, Tolgar. Okay. Might not be your strong suit, but... I'm 14. Wise. Okay. Um, and let me check your vision. Alright. Um, there definitely seems to be some, like, the stonework is somewhat singed in this room. It looks like it was exposed to some kind of heat. Um, Lynn? Yes? Does, uh, Porthen do a lot of fire magic. Uh, he's completely capable, but his specialty is enchantment. Remember? Oh, I'm gonna step into the room. Okay. There's something here. Come look. Uh. Oh, I really don't want to, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna approach and look at it. All right. Um. You can also give me, um, well, I don't know if it would be perception. Uh, give me an insight check now, because this is more about, because now you can see it clearly. Um, this is more about what you can discern from it than anything else. Nothing. <laughs> You're both terrible. The other three, come in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I don't know. Um... Uh, all you can really see is, as I said, much like Tolgar, you can see that there is the ground is like burnt a lot here. It's like charring and stuff like that. I'm going to look up to the ceiling. Do I see anything out of the ordinary? Uh, the ceiling is charred as well. It's like a girl with hair over her face <laughs> crawling on the ceiling. Um, perhaps <laughs> I'm going to look down this <laughs> corridor the way Lilith is looking. I believe I'd nope the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps there's a trap that goes down this hallway and hits this and explodes? That's stupid. <laughs> okay. Well, that's all I <laughs> You're now going to be like, what? <laughs> down this hallway? Well, the one I, I'm standing in right now? Uh, it's my own. Uh, I Apparently I'm stupid. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, no. Is that a serious theory? Because I don't care if it's stupid or not. If it's something you think might possibly happen, I don't want to be standing here. Or maybe if the Lonius, someone like the Lonius, cast a big spell and it was like a fireball, you know? What? That could be true, yes. <laughs> First of all, there is no one like Thelonious Conscious. All right, all right, enough. I've of met, met, okay. Getting that out of the way. <laughs> yes. One um, is the loneliest slumber. <laughs> Isla, don't. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to walk really behind closely behind Tolgar. <laughs> Use him as a shield, just in case. Excuse me, Kyla. Go in, go in. Yeah, really yeah. nervous about corners now. Oh, oh there's something head. right there. What's this? What is this thing? Oh, it looks like an urn. No, wait. No, those are pillars. What are those? <laughs> they are definitely urns to the right. Okay, yeah, there are urns in these alcoves here and here. Okay. On the top level, for sure. Okay. Urns? Is there anything inside of them? Um, they have tops peanuts. on. They have lids on. You want to? Free peanuts. Wait a minute. I don't are like that thing, you, Star. Are any of you familiar with Helor? I mean, I'm not, but actually, well, I may have worshipped right. Helor in my former life. I don't remember. <laughs> Lilith, Lilith, you're right. They did mention that this used to be a Pelorian church before they did their winter thing, right? Well, yeah. They said the church, of, yeah, the church above originally did belong to Pelor, um, and then when the 
when things changed and the um, agricultural side of things began to bloom in Harrington on the Mere, instead of worshipping the sun, they shifted their main focus of worship and um, the Pelorians left and um, the Church of Winter came in. I mean, if it, they worshipped Pelor quite some time ago, maybe the current clergy don't know about this down here. Uh, was hundreds of years ago, apparently, so it is entirely possible. Uh, is Pelor a god of underground caves with monsters? Right, so the area that you're looking at in front of you um, basically, this opening chamber has hugely tall ceilings, uh, and there appears to be, like, multiple levels to this. Like, you go up these flight of stairs ten feet, and then it looks like on that level there are more stairs that go up another ten feet. So it's almost like you're looking at a multi-tiered pathway leading okay. up into the back side of this temple. Uh. Eye out. There is that writing on the ground. Where? Over here. Um, it looks like it's not just lines anymore. Uh, it looks more it looks like a like decorative decor. pattern than anything else. Okay. Is Pelor a commonly uh, worshipped god among like wealthy nobles? Um, okay. At this Whoa. point, you yep. guys um, are aware of a strange kind of low emitting. <sighs> Oh, jeez. Too far. From, from where? Where? Right, where? Slinking like... round the corner at the top of this flight of stairs, you can see uh. a huge creature. Then you hear something similar from the opposite side. Oh, uh. but there's two of them. Are Either side up? of you are these strange looking creatures. Uh, I will pop up what they look like for chat momentarily. Okay. Um, Let's right get there. them in the narrow hallway. So basically, um, uh, let me give you a description before you start moving and doing stuff and yes, sir. running. <laughs> <laughs> and preemptively moving before your turn exists. I did not uh, move. <laughs> oh, I'm just used to you guys, that's all. Um, <laughs> you see something on the map and you all immediately move your tokens all the way back to the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, it's covered in kind of like a dusky gray fur. Um, it has large eyes that seem um, adept for seeing in the dark, much like the other things that you've encountered down here. Um, there's a strange musty smell in the air, almost like wet fur. Um, basically, these things have kind of like... Um, crept out of the dark and they're both crouched behind the wall using the corners for cover and they're peering down the stairs towards you you can see them <laughs> sniffing the air as if they're trying to um ascertain who or what strange things just entered into their domain um, emlyn emlyn what are they I at can that hear point them, but you suddenly hear <laughs> as two more leap from behind large sarcophaguses and crouch in a predatory attack position up around here in front of you. Um, at this point, you're then fully aware that there are now four of these things, all kind of crouched and poised, sniffing the air. Um, with that... <clears throat> Each one of them kind of like looks at each other. <laughs> and almost instantaneously, they like go and shift no! almost to be in two separate physical bodies. Like they literally just kind of shifted, one shifted out from inside the other. And now you are aware that there are eight of these things. And all this happens in a moment of seconds. All right. It's about now that you get to decide what to do, but unfortunately not tonight because you guessed it. That's the end of the show. And there's your cliffhanger. So um, we are going to stop right there. Hi there, I'm Gorbad. Welcome to the Orc's Nest. 
I'm the Dungeon Master here on How We Roll, and if you'd like to follow me personally, you can do so on Twitter, at Gorbad. Check out thedmblog.com for all things Dungeon Master and Dungeons and & Dragons related. And, of course, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash Gorbad. Also, guys, don't forget to keep up with all things How We Roll. Follow us on Twitter at How We Roll. Check out the website, www.howweroll.com, and make sure you follow us on YouTube as well. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, Dragonsburger here for How We Roll. Thank you so much for watching tonight. For something a little different, please check out my channel, twitch.tv slash thedragonspooker. For stream times, follow me on Twitter via at dragonspooker. See you next time. Hi, I'm the Satchmo. I speak for the trees. Thank you for watching How We Roll. If you want to see some more of me, you can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Satchmo. If not, I guess I'll just see you next episode. I love you. Take care. What's up, you guys? It's the Snuggler here, and I am back for my second How We Roll campaign. I've been given some guidelines. One is to not name the character that I'm playing. This score's probably gonna kill my character at some point. And two is to keep this as short as possible. Jane is just so lazy. Oh. So with that being said, so happy to be on my second campaign for How We Roll. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at Maddie Sweet Tweets. And that's pretty much all I use. So check you there. If not, I'm always here playing for you guys. Shagget here. I play a character on How We Roll. I'm not going to tell you who I play because if they die, I'm going to have to redo it. I've already done it once, never again. Follow me on Twitter at Ineb underscore Convos, and I'll see you guys on How We Roll. Hi, Jane here. You may have seen me in such films as Rise of the Fallen or Lyra vs. Legend. Thanks for watching! You can follow me on Twitter at Jane on Twitch. That's with a zero, not no. Anyway, I gotta go. The cats. Peace, suckers!